Okay, so we're back here. Uh, the bushing is uh, perfectly in place. Uh, I'm going to use a, uh, an inspection camera here and see if I can give you guys a shot. I guess for most people this is, uh, you know, this is absolutely useless. <laughs> useless to them. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, I mean, how many people own cells? Uh, well, how many people own L LNF engines and uh, how many people are going to do this? Maybe maybe one in a thousand? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how many kits they've sold. But uh, you get my drift. If you've been watching this, then you're probably just more curious about what I'm up to than uh, actually doing this yourself. Okay, I'm back. Uh, actually, this is, a, uh, this is actually a brand new day. <clears throat> the day after, so to speak. Uh, when uh, the SD card, well first off the battery went on my uh, camera, that was the end of that, I had to recharge that and then shortly after that uh, I lost all uh, capacity of the uh, SD card, that was the end of that so it was kind of getting late anyway, I thought uh, time to go inside and have something to eat but anyway where I was at was that I wanted to uh, stick uh, my inspection camera down is the hole here and uh, give you guys a shot uh, now let me see see how good I can get that so if I keep that there and then I put this down in here so hopefully we should be able to see uh, no we can't because I've moved it okay so you can now see I think you can now see. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's a better shot there. Yeah. It's one of these things where you're holding it and you're looking at something and then you're moving the wrong thing. To tr there we go. So you can see the... Uh, sitting nicely in there and I won't do it here but what I did on the other one too is I stuck my inspection light from the bottom end from down where the uh, main bearings are and looked the other way to see if I could see any sort of space between the uh, the lip of the uh, the lip of the hang on can you even see this? can you guys see that now? No, because it's not even in frame. Fuck. It's pissing me off. Stay there. Now, I've got to hold that there. God, you think I was a mongoloid or something trying to... There we go. I got it now. Okay. I'm going to hold that there for a couple of seconds so you guys can look at it. But that's what it's supposed to look like. All right, I'm pulling that out. So anyway, I was saying I uh, I put the inspection camera down from uh, from the bottom end and looked up, made sure there wasn't a gap between that outer edge of the bushing and the uh, and where the bearing is there, so it's in nice and tight. So we're done there. Um, going to turn the camera off and I'm going to get prepared to show you the installation of the of one of the. Uh, one of the idler gears, you know, the gears that used to be attached to the uh, to the balance shaft is now just an idler. So, I'll get prepared, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're all set up on the table here. I thought I'd uh, make sure I'm in frame here. Am I in frame? Oh, yeah. So, we've got, a, uh, we've got the uh, exhaust balance shaft here. The shaft here. This is the way it came out. Uh, this nut on here, nut. This fastener on here uh, needs to be loosened of course. Uh, it was on with um, some type of Loctite material. It took quite a bit of uh, force to get that off. I had to use a breaker bar. And then from there we take off the drive sprocket. sprocket. I'm just going to make sure we're still in frame. And then from here we've got this guy here. 
So this is now obsolete. There goes eight pounds. Uh, and then using my wonderful, wonderful AC Delco brake clean, parts cleaner, give her a bit of a spray here. Get her all nice and clean. Hit it with the is how you clean parts. Same thing with the sprocket. You see there's a little bit of goo back there. Get rid of that for now. Give her a nice little spray here. Make sure you're wearing protective glasses, of course. Oh, of course the compressor comes on. Hopefully you can still hear me. So now we've got this guy, sprocket. Now this is the new piece that came with the uh, with the balanced delete kit. You've got a keyway here, as you can see. So what we do, take ourselves a little bit of uh, assembly lube. I do is just run it if we can get it to work here. There we go. Just run a bead a little bit around there. It's nice and gooey and sticky. Over there like that. This slides into the back. I beg your pardon. Slides into the back. Like so. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, I just love it when they slide in like that. It's got that hydraulic effect as it slides in. Eh? From there, let's make sure all the surfaces are nice and clean. Them. Grab our dry sprocket. Just give a one more going over. Make sure there's no contaminants there at all. Uh, and then from there, these two guys line up. Hopefully I'm in shot. Am I in shot here? There we go. Uh, and they go in like so. Yeah. Kind of wiggle this guy out. Nice. There. It can only go on so far. You can see there's clearance at the back here. So it doesn't actually. Uh, the the, the back portion of the drive gear doesn't actually impact this, so it doesn't touch this aluminum uh, flange here. So once you rotate that, you get it all nice. And what I like to do here is there is an oiling port back here. Once again, I just dab a little bit of assembly lube in there. Clean off what we're not using. Now we have an assembled, assembled component. Now, this needs to go back on with a fair amount of torque. Obviously, whoa, good catch. This guy is spinning uh, independently of this flange, so I've really got no way of putting any, any, uh, any torque on this bolt at this point. This is also going to have some red Loctite on it, and we're going to torque it to around 30 foot-pounds. So for now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to screw this in. And we're going to leave it like that. Once I've got the water pump in, both of these in, and the uh, drive chain in place, I'll be able to lock up uh, the crank. And uh, by locking the crank up, I'll be able to get my uh, torque wrench on this guy and uh, get some uh, get a good uh, get a good amount of torque on it by the way this is a uh, I just learned this the other day thanks to my my buddy uh, this is a 10.9 specification bolt and I looked it up it is uh, alloy let me just go real quick back to my computer here Da, 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 da. Uh, well, eh, kind of interesting stuff. Stuff you never really think of, you know. Um, let me go here, and then if you go down, uh, here we are, 
alloy steel quenched and tempered. Uh, there's a bunch of specifications there that I don't really understand, but apparently it's uh, it's a pretty badass bolt. So anyway, I'm just going to reposition the camera. It's so nice to have the tripod now. Loosen this off and go. Bzz, bzz, and then we'll zoom in a little bit. Now remember this was going onto the exhaust side. We'll probably even zoom in a little more. Oh, that's the end of the zoom. Let's see if I can get it a little tighter here. There we are. So the idea is, remember we've removed the balance shaft, but we still need to retain the drive chain because the water pump uh, is driven by the chain that wraps around drive gear here, drive gear here. Now I entertained the idea of running an electric water pump, but <laughs> the complexity of everything, it, you know, I'd have to remove the thermostat and uh, I'd have to have an electronic controller, it was just getting all too much, it had been a fantastic idea because that way I could just eliminate everything here. All I would have is a timing chain going up to the camshafts. It'll be beautiful, but uh, for this build, maybe on the future build, uh, for this build anyway, uh, it's uh, we're going to run a conventional water pump. So anywho, this guy here, I'm not going to actually install this, I'm just going to show you where it goes. I'm going to put some lube in here, of course, some assembly lube. Uh, and then this guy sits, goes in here. It's pretty tight. You got to wiggle this in. I'm not going to put it in because there's no lube there right now. This guy goes in here, bolt, another fastener, goes through here like so, 89 inch pounds on that guy, um, 89 inch pounds on the other side, can you see the other side? No, I'm pointing at something you can't see, 89 inch pounds over here, water pump here, and we'll run a chain around. Once I've got this all set up, um, my next video is going to be showing the installation of the water pump, we'll get that in place, and then I'll do another video of showing how to time or to correctly install the chain on um, all these three components. That being the crank, the two idlers, or four components, the crank, the two idlers, and the water pump. Okay, that's it. Bye for now. Okay, so this is just the, uh, the finished product with the two idler gears back in place. Uh, what I've done here uh, we've got uh, some blue Loctite on these guys, uh, they're torqued back to uh, 89 inch pounds and then these guys here are going to go to 30 foot pounds but I can't get any tension on them until as I was saying before until I've got the chain drive in place and then I can lock the crank up and uh, that'll give me some resistance so I just wanted to show you up there. Okay, thank you very much.